Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek and definitely glad you're here. If I sound nasally and if I start having a coughing fit, you just know that I do have coronavirus and pneumonia and that's been fucking fun. It's been fucking grand. Just fucking great. I just dropped fuck like five times there. I'm sorry. Usually it's once a video maybe, but you know, I just dropped it all there. I was like, fuck. Anyways. Um, yeah, I wanted to make a video today. I wanted to make something about gaming because there's things that's happened the last few days that I haven't talked about and I wanted to talk about. I just haven't felt well. And most likely by this evening, I'm not going to have a voice again. Because usually what happens is, you know, I wake up in the morning, I take all my medicine, my voice is okay, it's so crackly, and then it goes away in the evening. Um, now you're... Go ahead and tell you now, still can't really eat that well. Um, it sucks. And um, my sense of taste and smell is basically gone. Um, you know, I'm congested real bad. And I'm not as weak as I was. I've been throwing all kinds of vitamins and shit at it. And, you know, it seems to be doing a trick. Um, but I'm hoping it gets better and not worse. But anyways, let's talk about a couple things that... Big in the news, actually. And there's one thing it's not really... I actually might make a separate video about it. Um, because I just finished the main storyline, the main campaign of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Which, spoiler alert, I fucking love it. I really do. But we're not talking about that. Tonight, we're going to talk about Sony and Bungie. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the news, um, I believe... This happened yesterday or the day before yesterday. Uh, PlayStation now owns Bungie. Um, it used to be Microsoft Studio, then they went independent. You know, these guys are pretty much brought Marathon, Oni. Um, I forgot the, that was a RTS series. I forget what, I think it was Myth, Mythic or something like that. I could be wrong. You know, you had Halo, which, you know, is huge. And now you have Destiny. Uh, they bought them for, I think it was $3.6 billion. I, mean, I could be wrong. It could be a much higher or lower number. But it was still pretty high. Um, it was kind of weird. To, for I didn't think Bungie as a studio was worth that much money. Um, I didn't think so. You didn't hear my shit stinging. Um but I didn't know they was actually worth that kind of money, which I've seen some stuff on Reddit where some investors say that it was grossly over, you know, paid for that. You know, I don't know how big Destiny is in terms of income. I'm sure it makes a lot of money. Um, you know, they're still pumping out content for it. It's not really for me. I used to like it. I, I used to like it. Um, I was there for Destiny 1. Um, I played some of the expansions. I never, ever, ever touched a raid. Um, on Destiny 2, I haven't bought any of the DLC. Um, I just kind of lost interest in Destiny. Um, I, I think the reason is because I'm getting tired of these live service games that's coming out. Um, you know, the whole the grind for loot, doing the same missions over and over again for loot. Um, and that's kind of why I kind of fell out of love with um, Borderlands, honestly, which I need to go back and play some Borderlands. I finished the first two games, but I need to play the pre-sequel and Borderlands 3. Um, I don't really care about the DLC, honestly. Um, you know, the DLC I originally got, like, for 1 and 2, and honestly, I most likely we'll get the DLC for three, but it just, I don't know. I kind of fell out of love with that. And, you know, it's a lot of games that I, you know, I don't care for because they become basically the same thing. You know, every major publisher at this point is creating these live service games, which the fuck, you know, I, it sucks, man. Um, and everything has to be a live service. Everything's got to have, you know, microtransactions, uh, tons of content, tons of way to make more money from the same game for 10 years. Um, 
And that's what confuses me about the purchase of Bungie. Is it a good acquisition? Yeah, it's a great acquisition. Bungie is a great team. Sure, just like any other studio, they have their problems. Stuff with, like, Crunch, which Crunch is fucking terrible. Don't do that, please. You know, people have lives. They don't need to dedicate every five seconds to that studio. Should have your job and your life. Um, that's it. You you know, you have your life and you have your job and your life should take precedence over your job. Honestly, that's how I see it. Um, you know, that job is always, you, you know, you leave that job, they're going to find somebody immediately to replace you. If you leave, there's nobody to replace you. Took me a while to realize that. Uh, that's probably why I've been through so many jobs. But is it a good purchase? And I say, yeah, it's a great purchase. Honestly, um, I like I said, I don't know about the number, but um, in terms of a great studio with a proven track record, you know, I don't think you can have done any worse. Um, now I'm wondering how that's going to work. They are saying that games like Destiny will still be multi-platform, and there's a question that was asked if. Their, all their games will be multi-platform. And it's a yes and no answer. What I'm assuming is Destiny will always be a multi-platform um, title. You know, Destiny 1, 2, and 3. I think that series will always be multi-platform. And the reason why I'm saying this is the same reason I'm thinking Call of Duty Warzone is always going to be a multi-platform title. Now, what do I see any of the other Call of Duties after the next three years come out be exclusive to Microsoft? Yeah, I totally do. Why would you spend 70 some billion dollars or $68 billion? I'm acting like that's a small difference. That's a big difference. Um, and not have these dedicated to your machine. You, you, you know, you want to invest in that. So putting Call of Duty as an exclusive to Xbox makes a lot of sense. And doing keeping Warzone, just how Microsoft does with Minecraft, you know, it's multi-platform. It started out as a multi-platform game, and it's still a multi-platform game. Uh, I don't see any difference in that, and I think that's the way Destiny will be. Now, for other games, like new IPs, I think those will be Sony exclusives. Um, why wouldn't that be? I mean, honestly, you, know, you could say, well, it's uh, it's on. It doesn't. You don't need to come to Xbox. No, it don't. But it'll probably come on PC because PlayStation is pushing this um, PC uh, game stuff now. You know, it's God of War, Horizon, Days Gone, uh, Detroit Become Human. Um, you know, a lot a lot of games, first party games from PlayStation are on PC now. Which is pretty cool. I never thought, if you want to ask me that 10 years ago, would I see those on a PC? No, I told you no. Fuck no, it probably wouldn't happen. And it, I'm not wrong. It, it happened. I was really wrong, actually. Why did I say I'm not wrong? Yeah. So, you know, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about this since it, it, it kind of makes, it kind of ties into itself, actually. So Microsoft, when they bought Activision Blizzard, you know they bought Bethesda. Um, you know they got a bunch of first-party studios now. And I, I, I watch um, Rich on Review Tech USA, and he has been so like fucking back and forth on this shit. Like, I don't think he really knows like what he wants. Um, it's okay if. PlayStation doesn't, PlayStation, Tencent, and uh, who else? Yeah, I think it's PlayStation and Tencent. They have more, you know, market uh, cap in terms of their game service than Xbox. Xbox, after this acquisition, would be number three. Uh, Nintendo, they just do whatever the fuck they want. All Nintendo does is like, hey, you like playing really cool video games on, you know, decently, reasonably priced, uh, consoles here you go you know that's why nintendo games sell so well it's why the switch is selling so well it's it's cheap 
there's great games on it. Um, and like I said, just released. We just had uh, Pokemon Arceus came out, which is amazing, by the way. And I'll talk about that on another video. But, you know, they're saying like FTC is going to check in on this purchase with uh, Microsoft and Xbox. And the reason why I bring up Rich from Review Tech is like he keeps on acting like it's a bad thing, but. He, they bought. I don't see a problem with it, honestly. You know, Activision was a sinking ship. Somebody was going to buy Activision. And it could have been China, the Tencent company. I mean, I'd rather have been Xbox than Tencent, honestly. But I kind of feel, too, is if the boot was on the other foot, if Sony would have bought Activision, then it would have been fine. Now, this is probably me with my tinfoil hat, but I see this a lot with content creators, um, you know, especially Rich. Like, I, Rich, I've been following you for years, man. Um, you're great. And you're, the bird thing is kind of cringy, but I'm cringy, and, but I still respect you. Um, but I kind of feel like he's all doom and gloom about it. And I, I don't think you should be. You know, a lot of content creators are actually okay with this. Um, and another good example would have been Dreamcast Guy, which, you know, I like Dreamcast Guy, but he kind of doesn't know what he's talking about half of the time. Um, he just says shit. Um, and, you know, he come over here and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. It's true, I don't. I don't never know what the fuck I'm talking about because... Yeah, I'm scatterbrained. That's why my videos, I go off 10 different directions. But I kind of feel like there's this bias, and I've seen this for years, man. Like, System Wars has always been a thing. I, I grew up on the GameSpots and NeoGAF message boards, and, you know, PlayStation could do no wrong, and Xbox, and everybody else can suck a dick, basically. And that's how I kind of feel some of these content creators are being right now. Might be like, oh, the Xbox is buying Activision. That's bad. Yeah, I mean, Xbox is getting a lot out of this. But PlayStation just bought Bungie. They made Halo. Fuck you, Xbox. It's no longer system wars. It's content wars, guys. You know, these companies are going to try to get as many acquisitions as they can to their platforms. Um... And like I said, Sony will bring out their games on PC. You probably won't see them on Xbox. Same one reason you probably won't see you know Xbox games on PlayStation. You want to invest in yourself, and that's what these companies are doing. They're investing in themselves, even though Microsoft basically has an endless wallet compared to the other studios. Um, and people say you know that's a disadvantage to other game companies, but dude, come on. Like, who would you rather maybe EA buy Activision? Tencent buy Activision? If anything that comes good out of this is as long as Blizzard and Activision and all these studios under that umbrella, you know, these people get treated great and they kick out motherfucking Bobby Kotick or Kotick, Dick Face McGee out, it's great for them. Microsoft has done pretty well. Yeah, they started out shitty with the Xbox One. Um, I mean, probably that, the Xbox and Xbox 360 was great. The Xbox One was, you know, they stepped down a little bit. I, I kind of feel like every every system has that problem. On their third system, they kind of fall a little bit and then they get back up. And I kind of, that's where I kind of where see where Xbox has been more consumer-friendly um, company than these other companies. Uh, but, again, I don't think Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard is bad. Same reason I don't think Sony buying Bungie is bad. The only thing I think is that creators should not pick a side. I don't think it should be, oh, I'm Team PlayStation, Team Xbox. You know what? I'm Team Gaming. I play on everything. You know, I, I, don't, I used to do the console war shit. I know exactly where you're coming from. You want to, you know, pro <laughs> profess your love to uh, 
these plastic systems. But at the end of the day, just have fun, man. Play games. But other than that, I'm going to let you guys go. My voice is getting ready to go out. And yeah, I'm going to take some medicine to die. But anyways, keep an eye out. I'm going to talk about Pokemon Arceus soon. I really want to talk about that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.